This video is made possible by NordVPN. Start protecting your internet experience today at nordvpn.com forward slash brainfood and use code brainfood to get 75% off a three year plan plus a month for free. In the video today, we are answering a viewer question because Luke T asks us, how many times can you shoot a bulletproof vest before it stops working? Okay, so to begin with, it should probably be noted that the name bulletproof vest is a misnomer, with bullet resistant vest being rather more apt. Or to quote John Gachet, marketing director for body armor company Safariland, nothing can be bulletproof, not even a manhole cover. In an extremely small percentage of cases, a round can even go through a vest that it is rated to stop. The round itself could have an extra serration on it or something. Furthermore, body armor designed to protect the wearer from high caliber guns can still be penetrated or compromised by smaller caliber bullets. For example, armor designed to stop a round from a 44 Magnum, the kind of round Dirty Harry claims can blow a man's head clean off, could theoretically be pierced by a 9mm round if the latter is fired with a high enough muzzle velocity, with distance to target, of course, also playing a role. Or as Police Magazine notes, there's a tendency among gun enthusiasts to dismiss the lethal potential of certain caliber of handguns. Don't believe it. A small round traveling at high speed can punch through body armor. Similarly, in part because shot from shotgun shells have highly varying velocities, shotguns are deemed very dangerous even to otherwise extremely robust body armor. That's not to mention, of course, that even should the vest do its job, the spread out nature of the shot gives a higher probability of unprotected areas being hit as well. All right, so with that preamble out of the way, let's discuss the differing levels of protection offered by various types of body armor and how many times they can be shot before they stop offering an acceptable level of defense. In the United States, most all body armor is ranked according to standards that are set by the National Institute of Justice, or the NIJ, with their ratings pretty much considered the gold standard the world over in regards to levels of ballistic protection offered by a given piece of armor. As for those ratings, the NIJ assigns a generalized level rating between 1 and 4 to all kinds of armor. In the most basic sense, the higher the level of armor, the more protection it provides. For example, a rating of anywhere from level 1 through 3A will stop bullets fired from the majority of handguns. For comfort's sake, body armor at these levels is usually made from some sort of fiber material, such as Kevlar, though at the higher levels they may use additional materials. On the extreme end, level 4 armor is the only kind capable of potentially stopping armor-piercing rounds and is usually made of some kind of hard material sometimes with a soft material like Kevlar reinforcing it. On that note, although all kinds of armor are held to the same standards by the NIJ, a distinction is made between hard and soft types. For anyone unfamiliar with the terms, soft body armor is usually created by weaving ultra-strong fibers together in a web-like pattern, with the armor stopping bullets much in the same way as a net slows and stops some objects like a baseball, distributing the force over a larger area in the process. Hard body armor, on the other hand, is usually created by inserting solid plates of ceramic or a special plastic into a vest or other housing. Although hard armor generally provides more protection than soft armor, it has its own shortcomings that do need to be considered. For example, ceramic armor plates are often only designed to protect the area around the heart and lungs, owing to the drawback of hindered maneuverability if covering over other areas, as well as the fact that they are relatively heavy, with a 10 by 12 inch plate typically weighing about 7 or 8 pounds. So this is a combined front and back plate weight of roughly 15 pounds or 7 kilograms, and that's only when you're protecting the heart and lung area. All of this finally brings us around to how many bullets a piece of body armor can absorb before it is rendered useless. Well, as you might imagine, given how many different types of body armor there are out there, this really does depend. For example, on the extreme end, we found some manufacturers who claimed their level 3 body armor was capable of taking literally hundreds of rounds before failing. As for some general examples, we'll start with soft armor. The moment these are hit by a bullet, the fibers around the area of impact are compromised and lose some of their ability to absorb and dissipate the energy of a bullet. Thus, if another shot were to hit reasonably close to where the first hit, the bullet has a good chance of penetrating, even if the vest would have normally been able to handle it just fine. 
Thus, while it is possible they can take multiple hits in some cases and even be rated for such, depending on the caliber of bullet, way the armor was made, etc., it's generally deemed unsafe to rely on this. Moving on to ceramic plate armor, in most cases these plates are designed to shatter when hit by a bullet, dissipating the force of the impact via breaking up the bullet so that the smaller pieces can be absorbed by some backing material like Kevlar or some form of polymer or sometimes both. A side effect of this is that then a large portion of the plate is then completely useless against a second shot similar to our previous example with soft armor. That said, there are certain types of ceramic armor that are designed to take multiple rounds, just again relying on this is generally considered unwise in most cases. And certainly with armor piercing rounds and level 4 ceramic armor, the NIJ only requires it to work for one shot to receive that rating, though manufacturers do do their own testing and we did find examples of companies that claimed to exceed that with their level 4 ceramic armor, even with armor piercing rounds. This all brings us back to polyethylene armor plating. In this case, the impact of a bullet actually melts the plate, which then rehardens, trapping the bullet within it. Due to this, polyethylene armor can survive being shot numerous times without losing its ballistics integrity, and we found examples of manufacturers that claimed their polyethylene armor could take hundreds of rounds before failing. Polyethylene plates also have the advantage of being roughly half the weight of ceramic for the same level of protection. Hybrid body armor is also quite common at the higher levels, meaning your mileage may vary from a given piece of body armor to another, with the NIJ's ratings giving a decent overview of what it's capable of, and often the manufacturer's testing giving even more insight into how many rounds of a given type of bullet the vest can take before it fails. All this said, again, while a given piece of body armor may pass the tests and even be claimed by the manufacturer to protect against much more, most manufacturers recommend replacing body armor even after a single shot. And beyond that, even in some cases, if you just drop the armor on the floor. This is because although body armor is designed to stop bullets, some types are surprisingly fragile. For example, ceramic plates can easily crack if dropped, sometimes in ways that aren't visible to the naked eye. Moving on to soft body armor, stretching or deforming the fibers in some way, again in ways that are sometimes not obvious to the naked eye, can also compromise the body armor's integrity. Some manufacturers even advise replacing Kevlar body armor if you just get it wet as this potentially weakens the fibers. On that note, because daily otherwise innocuous activities can sometimes compromise body armor, the standard in the body armor industry set by the NIJ is to also replace a given vest a maximum of every five years, even if it's never been hit by a bullet. So while you might not need protection from bullets, I hope you do need protection online, and the best way to do that is with today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you're buying things online and using a public Wi-Fi spot, you know, think about coffee shops or airports, places like that, you really should be using a VPN, and that's where NordVPN comes in. I know it's tempting not to bother and just kind of hope for the best, but really, those stories you read about online of people having their data stolen, they do happen, that's why they're in the news, and you don't want to make it easy for that to be you. Whenever I'm browsing on public Wi-Fi, I always just keep the VPN on just so I don't have to worry about anyone stealing my data. It's easy. I just flip it on and then you don't have to worry about anything. But it's not all about security. You can also use it to change the country that you appear to be in so you can get content that might normally only be available in specific geographic locations. NordVPN is also super fast, so watching a video is a breeze. There's never any lag whatsoever. I've used VPNs in the past and they've been a bit slow, maybe the video doesn't buffer quite right or it doesn't get the super high resolution. That is not the case with NordVPN. And you can use it on all of your devices very, very easily. Android, Chrome, Windows, Linux, Apple, whatever you're on. And you can use it on six different devices with just one account. So that'll cover your phone, tablet, laptop, home computer, and two others. I guess what else do people have? Second tablet, second phones? Who knows? Also, there are no logs kept at all, unlike companies based in the EU or the United States. NordVPN, based in Panama, so they don't have to keep any logs at all, apparently. Great for your privacy. Indeed, they are the only VPN to get a perfect score from PCMag. So, start protecting your internet experience today at nordvpn.com forward slash brainfood and use code brainfood to get 75% off a three-year plan plus a month for free. And let's get into today's bonus fact, shall we? For the fashionably minded individual who might need some protection from getting shot, it turns out bulletproof suits are not just a thing in the movies, but there is a real product that makes military and police body armor look like something made from when it was the era of hitching up a covered wagon to go to the market. 
Perhaps the most famous manufacturer of these is the Colombian company Miguel Caballero, founded in 1992 by, you guessed it, Mr. Caballero. What exact materials he uses to make his line of bulletproof clothing is not clear, though he states it's a hybrid between nylon and polyester. The advantage of his material is that it's significantly lighter and thinner than Kevlar at equivalent protection levels. And indeed, if you go and check out their website, their undershirt body armor looks pretty much like any other undershirt, unless you look really closely. As for the price tag, this isn't listed on the website, but it would appear a basic suit top made by the company will run you upwards of about twenty dollars to $30,000, though you can get other products such as the undershirt for less, apparently starting at around $4,000. Funnily enough, one of Caballero's favorite ways to advertise is, in fact, to put the clothing on someone and then personally shoot them, leading to the company's slogan, I was shot by Miguel Caballero, with apparently a few hundred people having been shot by the man himself to date. They even have a YouTube channel where you can see him shoot his wife in the stomach. Not just stopping bullets, some of Caballero's products are also rated to stop knives, be fireproof, waterproof, etc. Essentially, think of the type of snazzy and robust clothing seen in most spy movies, and it's actually pretty accurate in this case. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, NordVPN, fantastic sponsor. Please do check them out below. That helps support this show. And as always, thank you for watching.